committed to the inspiration, infallibility, and the inerrancy of the Bible. And the reason I say this is that so many Christian apologists try to make Christianity as small as possible. We're going to just defend the mere historical reliability of the Bible. Well, I want to defend the view of the Bible that Jesus defended and the view of the Bible that Paul and Peter and the other apostles defended. I want a view of the Bible that is going to correspond with this idea that God has spoken in canonical scripture. We're not just called to defend little pieces of scripture, but the whole of scripture. And as we've looked at so many times before, you know, Harold Lenzel was correct that when the doctrine of inerrancy starts to slip, so many other doctrines come along with it. And that's not a slippery slope. That's just a right reading of Christian history, especially over the last 300 years with the rise of biblical criticism and 